They will collect out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all evildoers, and they will throw them into the furnace of fire, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Let anyone with ears listen. Matthew 13. The witch began to chant some ancient language which opened a black hole in a form of a circle, right where she marked those symbols. Thousands and thousands of creatures came out of the black hole and flew all over Zaire. The North King's laughter affected everyone around him like a virus. They all started to laugh as the creatures flew over them. Errol, with her eyes turned white as snow again, she appears to see through the dark mist that swallowed Zaire. She sees the North King laughing, and he immediately notices her gaze as he stops laughing. Bring me back that white-haired witch alive! He commanded the dark creatures, which started an assault on Errol and Ragel. Only the repenting damned souls will receive judgment and justice. For those who still roam with sin, they shall only receive my vengeance. Ragel's words cut through the darkness, and cries of sinners echoed. Those words echoed throughout New Zeba, and darkness rejoiced, and light was no more. It can't be, Sheol. Errol murmured to herself as she tried one more time to expel the darkness, but her powers could not work. Cries still echo throughout New Zeba, the flying dark creatures falling one after the other. Errol could not see them, but she could hear their squeals as they hit the ground. The North King and other shadows sitting on the table began to whisper, It can't be. That is not possible. Yawn, Adin. The North King's eyes turned red, filled with fierce fire, trying to see through the darkness, but he could not see a thing, not even those he is sitting with. He is supposed to be in a soul sleep, the North King murmured to himself. He realized that the rumors that were roaming the land of the forgotten about the one who will cast them into the eternal fire in Gehenna were true. Ragel, snap out of it, Errol commanded, but Ragel could not hear a word for vengeance is what he lusted. Everyone in New Zeba began to relive their past evil deeds, and with every sin they committed, an agonizing pain multiplied. Cries continued to echo throughout Zeba, and there was nothing that Errol could do but to relive her past when she destroyed many villages because of her uncontrollable forbidden powers. She fell down and tears flooded her eyes. At Rafa, the witch's nest, Everyone is also down on their knees, and they can't escape the agonizing pain. What is going on, witch? Queen Enelada demanded answers from Emily. In the mist of darkness and nothingness, Emily reliving her terror as Kaina, but she managed to hear Enelada and snapped out of her hell. It is Sheol. Ragel must have unleashed his power. It is said that each of the seven have certain responsibilities assigned to them in order to watch over and protect us from the evil clans that roams the outside walls of our world and also protect us from ourselves. She explained to them. Denam, down on one knee, with anger fuming from his eyes, even through the pain, he managed to manifest his power of which was the dominion over fire. Lava spilled throughout his body, and his shout roared throughout New Zeba, with a roar of a king, a bright light shined from the sky, and all the cries paused for a moment. In that split second, Michael quickly appeared in front of Ragal, who was clearly enjoying the cries from the wide smile that he had. Michael put his right hand on top of the head of Ragal and knocked him out cold. The darkness disappeared while Errol was still down with tears flooding her eyes. Michael flew down to her, holding Ragal on his left side. He placed Ragel carefully down and approached Errol. My queen, are you? A loud sound was heard as the shield surrounding New Zeba collapsed. An army flew from the skies of Anukes and landed on New Zeba like meteor. Upon their landing, the surrounding villages were destroyed and the screams resumed as an onslaught began. A venomous smile appeared on Denim and also on the North King's face. It has finally begun they both murmured simultaneously. Like I told you, Enelada, we can't let this witches do as they please with this amount of power. It was bad enough when Errol was the only one to be cautious of, but now there are seven more like her. Denom, with his anger evolving into passion, voiced his thoughts to Queen Enelada.
You are all alike. This world will be better off without you in it. Listen here, you evil bastard. I may have ties to you because of my sister, but do not mistake my relation to my sister as an alliance. I will not take part in this war you so please to crave for. We will sweep through your remains and create a peaceful world without you in it. Anilada voiced her thoughts as well, although it looked like she has been piling up her resentment towards Denam for some time. What is the meaning of this King Denam? Princess Abenez demanded. Little girl, listen here. This has nothing to do with you. This witch has destroyed one of my villages the last time she was queen. She is not stable in her head. She needs to be put down. And now her seven minions have joined her in the loony bin. They must all be put down. Denim threw his anger towards Abenez. What right do you have to decide whom becomes queen in this land? I will not stand by like Miss Goody two shoes here while you murder people. We will... Emily directed a lightning bolt attack towards Denom in the middle of Abenez's ranting, which was easily blocked by Cider. In that moment, Elisha, Teen, and Ilac took out their swords, and Osin and Arok immediately shielded Queen Enelada. Listen here, you little... If by some miracle you survive this, I will personally hunt you down and take your head. Calling me Miss Goody Two Shoes? You have the nerve! Queen Enelada imploded with anger as she turned her back on the tension arising on New Zeba. She left with her guards. War broke out as the North King and the Shadows attacked Errol and the Seven, along with the witches and wizards from Zaire. In Rafa, the army of Anukas led by the twins caused chaos and despair as they continued killing the villagers, who tried by all mean to fight back. But they were overwhelmed. Their most skillful fighters died in the war in Asimalak. Princess Abenez, facing King Denam, sent a signal that was a call to arms for Asimalak, which called reinforcements to New Zeba. It was dreadful. The pain and screams that New Zeba endured was unbearable. Like the prophecies foretold, it was the day of judgment Yon Adin.